Hey there folks, this is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to the farm. It's another beautiful day here in the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains and we got another stranger from Indiana here on the farm with us today. So this is Matt with ABI Attachments. Very flattered, very happy to have you guys here. Uh, super duper flattering to have these companies reaching out to think that our farm is so beautiful that they would like to shoot their own video and commercials up here on the farm and allow me to use the equipment that I really, really need, which is super awesome. So these guys make a rake that's called a TR3. It is a all-in-one land leveling, landscaping, uh, soil prep machine. We're gonna be using that a little bit today, and we're gonna be using a gigantic, I say gigantic, it's probably the biggest manure spreader this tractor's ever seen. We have a manure spreader here on the farm. It's an old one from like 19, 60 something or whatever so we're gonna ride by the manure spreader here really quickly if I can make my way through with the camera <laughs> uh, this is the manure spreader that we're gonna be showing today we're gonna be having a little bit of fun with it those paddles man those things just absolutely whip so it's gonna be a good time today we're gonna learn a little bit we're gonna get some future use out of this and I'll talk to you about the things that I like we're gonna get a little bit of history on ABI attachments how this business just kind of started in a guy's garage a lot of these American businesses just start with the dream of one guy working in his garage so come along today as we have a little bit of fun this is the other attachments called the TR3 and we're gonna be playing with a gigantic awesome manure spreader all right Woo! So first of all, guys, let's introduce this manure spreader. This is the 185 model, the big old Mac Daddy manure spreader. Did I need a manure spreader this big? This is probably three times as big as the current manure spreader that we have here on the farm. And the one we have here on the farm now is driven by the wheels. In other words, as the wheels spin, these paddles start flopping around. Now this one is driven by PTO and two remotes. So this is a big, big machine. This is the biggest one that ABI offers. There are a lot more other machines, small enough that you could even pull behind a lawnmower. So we're gonna let Matt talk to you a little bit about the design of this machine, how it's made. We're gonna load it up with a Ventrac and we're gonna put it to work. All right, thanks Josh, appreciate it. As, as Josh mentioned, he wanted the big boy. This is our big 185 spreader. Uh, as you can see, we've got a PTO model here with a hydraulically driven floor. Uh, we offer a whole lineup of spreaders that goes all the way from this 185 down to a little 25 that can be pulled ground drive behind a lawnmower. Uh, biggest thing on our spreaders is we've got this Core 10 steel body. Core 10 steel, if you're not familiar with it, this is the same steel they use to build bridges. This is heavy duty overbuilt stuff. The idea is it might develop some kind of surface rust at some point, but it will not rust through. This is your grandkids kids manure spreader, it will last that long. Uh, you can see here this poly plank floor. We choose for planks rather than a solid poly, that way you never, never have any warping issues. Here in the back is the game changer for us though. You can tell here that we've got two different shredder bars. These shredder bars, the reason we opt for an inline shredder bar is because we actually know the value of manure. I know a lot of you out there are just trying to clear stalls out and get the poop out of your way, but if you're actually trying to turn that manure into valuable fertilizer for your fields, you need an inline shredder bar that can get that poop broke up as fine as possible so when it hits the ground, you've got less bugs, less smell, and the nutrients get to the soil faster. That's why every one of ABI's spreaders got this inline shredder bar. We've also got down here, hidden away, this little litter pan. If you've ever had a manure spreader that just dumps poop out the back end in a waterfall and doesn't actually spread out, we've got the solution here in the litter pan. Josh said that he wanted a nice fine spray in manure. You've got the litter pan in place to get the manure up to the paddles to get that big waterfall of, uh, waterfall of poop out the back end. So this manure spreader also comes with a gigantic end gate. Now the end gate, you close it down over top so that no manure drops out the back when you're loading up. And when you get ready to run it, you raise this end gate up and it knocks the top of the manure down to a manageable height. So in other words, you can load this thing as full as you want to load it. It's never going to be too heavy. And this will knock it down to the manageable height that you need 
to run it through and smack it and make a mess with your poopy, but break it up so that it can be usable for the soil. And that's what we're all about here is soil building. And that's how these guys found me. We're talking about building soil using organic material and not using chemical fertilizers. Rad. So some of the technology in this gigantic manure spreader comes from old technology yep. from our old manure spreader. And you guys found me from the video where I flew my drone <laughs> through the manure spreader. Yep. We're not gonna do that today. <laughs> We've already crashed the drone. It's eight o'clock in the morning and I've already crashed the drone into a hickory tree. If you follow us on Instagram, you'll see that uh, little picture of it and I'll post a video of it later on today, probably or tomorrow. But tell me about the technology yeah. here that we have and i think this is an old school new idea style yeah. uh manure spreader i bought this from a guy this was actually used on uh turtle island on eustace conway's no place so tell me about the technology that you see here that's also used in your manure spreader because it's tried and true technology yeah. that's been here for years i mean it's just manure like you said this is seeing this manure spreader on your property is actually the reason we got excited to work with you because if you've got a manure spreader like this and if you're talking like you do about how you care about the soil you want to rejuvenate the soil you recognize the value of manure to build soil from nothing then you can see the value in a manure spreader that's got this inline shredder bar here and to us, it's all about this old world technology. If you think back decades ago, before we had the commercial fertilizers, before we had uh, all the extra additives and the chemicals you can put on soil, the only fertilizer people had was poo. <laughs> and so they understood, early agriculturalists understood that you've got to break up that poop and get it in as small as possible particles before you put it on the soil to help the soil regrow. And that's why this old spreader has this dual, dual shredder system. Uh, so seeing this on your property uh, is what got us excited because all of our spreaders are built the same way. Very simple mechanics. This unit's ground drive. A lot of the units that we sell are ground drive. People who don't have PTO systems, people who don't have big tractors, small operations, uh, just a couple of animals, but they don't want to just throw their poop in a pile and let it sit. They want it to work for something and they care about the soil as much as you do. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna ride down, we're gonna grab the vent track and we're gonna take off the wheels on it. I know you guys are probably excited about seeing that, knowing how the wheels come off of the vent track. So it's got eight tires on it. We wanna pull four tires off the outside and we have a cool new tool on the vent track. We've got a high lift loader that's gonna make it an indispensable unit on the farm. It's already been indispensable. We've got 270 hours or so on this machine and we've only had it for like seven months. So it's already an indispensable unit. This just makes it more versatile for the farm. We'll load up the manure spreader with the vent track. very simple we'll loosen it probably three or four turns then we'll take a hammer doesn't have to be a big hammer and tap tap that loose to break it loose and then we'll spin our wheel off and it's basically righty tighty lefty loosey these have been on for quite some time so they're gonna be a little bit on the tight side we're gonna twist it back and basically just like an old knockoff wheel like on an old Corvette or old race car it's pretty much designed similar to that it just holds in place right here and there is an expansion bolt when you whack this nut it takes this little bolt out pretty cool
<laughs> it's windy. And guess what happens when you use a manure spreader in the wind? Get some poop in your mouth there, Josh. <laughs> mm, I've heard of toothpaste, but not poop paste. <laughs> Man, I'm surprised it's not like in my. Uh, it's bad. I'm glad I have my safety glasses on. <laughs> this thing straight up slings the manure man uh, i just can't say how impressed i am with it. it it has done a great job so far if you look it really didn't like get too awfully dirty this manure is rather dry rather flaky and you could see the big chunks blasting apart in the drone footage like big old chunks just like it just annihilates everything in its path uh i would hate to be behind it like this guy was <laughs> so abi is up here shooting a bit of a commercial and i say commercial but it, it's more stuff for their social media for their facebook and stuff like that and their poor camera guy <laughs> and i know why we did the manure spreader first he wants to use my shower he knows this fresh North Carolina water. So guys, that'll be the first taste of this manure spreader. We're going to be working with it a lot more here on the farm. This is a permanent structure here on the farm. If these guys will let me borrow it permanently, I hope, if this is a success. So we have this much more manure in this spot and this much more manure in three other spots on the farm. And once we get cattle, once we get pigs, once we get our chickens, once we get everything rocking and rolling, this whole farm will be one symbiotic relationship of soil restoration and organic matter and farming the way it should be done. Now the next thing we're gonna do is get on the TR3. It's a land leveling machine. We're gonna have a blast with that. We're gonna show you guys how we level up land, all right? So the next implement we're going to use is called the TR3, and TR3 stands for Tractor Rake 3-in-1. Tractor Rake 3-in-1. Yep. So we have a rake, we have a grater, is that right? Yep. And then you have scar fires down here which dig into the soil, basically yep. almost subsoil, but not quite that deep. Yep. So what we want to do is work up a seed bed that's going to help our seed germinate on these new spots of land that we just cleared. We're going to get a little taste of this and we're actually going to do a little bit of before and after. I've got about an acre and a half little spot that we're going to work on and we'll give you a little more detail as we get going with that. Let's talk about the adjustments and everything that goes on with this machine because it looks like a Rubik's Cube to, to <laughs> the average person. To me, when I got it here, it's been here on the farm on a crate for a couple weeks. I didn't dare pick it up and try to do this myself, but it's simple. It's much more simple than I thought. So I'm gonna let Matt describe exactly how this thing works and what we're gonna be doing today. So we've got the TR3 here. Now this is one of our big boy models. We've got anything from a five and a half up to a 10 footer. Uh, Josh here's got that 5650 John Deere. That's why we've got an eight and a half Cat 2. You can see three point attachment here. You'll notice right away, we've got a hydraulic top link up here. Uh, this is actually an option uh, with all of the land clearing that Josh is gonna be doing. We needed this option to give him a lot of a control over the pitch of the tool. If you don't have hydraulics in the back and you just need a manual top link, totally fine, works great. Uh, first thing I want to point out is actually the, the angle of this tool. Uh, a lot of people used to move in soil and move in gravel are familiar with tools that run parallel to the ground. Think your typical box blade, uh, your rear blade, your land plane, everything runs parallel. It's kind of a square framed object. We intentionally designed this with the angle to angle down because we have got four different components here that all need to hit the ground at the same time. That's why we've got to have that angle. Uh, so big heavy I-beam construction allows us to use this first piece of, uh, first ground engage component, which is the level blade. Uh, so this does the leveling work. Big heavy level bar here, difficult to lift for a one man job. We want this much weight on the front of this level bar because this is what grabs your gravel, grabs your soil, and levels everything out for you. This is the patented object on the TR3 that makes it so special that you can actually grab material. As you grab more material, this blade floats up, and as you get to a low spot, the blade pushes the material into a low spot, uh, giving this the function of grabbing your highs, moving to lows. This is what levels your surfaces for you. So this is the name of the game here to keep this engaged. You've got your stabilizing wheels here to make sure that you don't rip deeper than you want to rip. We've got our scarifiers, which is what we call our ripping teeth. They're out of play here, but you see the four different holes that allow us to drop those down and rip four inches deep. This is crucial for all of you working to plant any kind of seed. 
Remember the name of the game on great growth is a great root system. And in order to get a great root system, you've got to have depth. You got to be decompacted. Uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of other products only kind of scratch the surface. You get a little bit of roots and those roots will go flat and horizontal, but better blade growth on your grass means you've got to get the depth in those roots. Your scarifiers here allow that. So that's your second component on the tier three. The third one here in the back, this is your finish rake. This big, heavy, three quarter inch thick AR-15 steel will pulverize all your clods and leave you a nice, easy finish. And for those of you familiar with the seeding process, you know that you can't have your big clumps and clods out there because your seed won't take. Uh, so you've really got to break those clods up, get a nice smooth finish, and that's what this finish rake does for you. So one single pass, you can level, you can decompact, and you can finish on the back uh, all while clearing the land and getting you that neat, nice seed bed that you need. Josh was saying earlier that this all came about with the guy in his garage, and that's where this started. Uh, Kevin Kegley grew up the son of a sod farmer. He knows soil, he knows grass, he knows turf. Uh, as he grew, he took on a landscape business, started his own business contractor, and somebody came along, Scott Holmes, the, the co-owner of ABI, came along, and as he was working with Kevin on these grass, these lawn installation projects, uh, he noticed that uh, their company was getting these lawn installation jobs accomplished in a quarter of the time that other companies were doing it. When they were in these subdivisions and in these big properties installing grass, uh, they were, could get jobs done in about four hours, where it was taking other people a full two days to accomplish. Uh, so Scott approaches Kevin Kegley and says, hey, help me understand. How are you accomplishing this? And Kevin says, well, it's, it's the tools that I invented. And you're looking at the one. Uh, this TR3 is what Kevin Kegley invented 20 years ago. Uh, and this tool has allowed him and a bunch of other contractors in the past 20 years uh, to get jobs done in a fraction of the time, uh, with a fraction of the effort, with a fraction of the tow vehicles and equipment. Uh, we've got some contractors calling him, giving us stories and say the only two things they bring on job sites anymore, a tractor, a tier three, and a bobcat, and that's it. This is how efficient this can make life in clearing land and prepping soil for seedbed. Again, I'm super duper flattered that these guys are here offering this equipment for me to use to help with the land clearing. We, we really could have used it probably two years ago, maybe three years ago when we cleared this whole 25 acre field, but we still have about 40 something acres to clear here on the farm. So this is gonna be an indispensable tool. It's gonna be fun. I'm gonna enjoy using it. I love tractor toys. I'm a toolophile, so come along and we'll show you how it works. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. Look back here. Look back here. Isn't that awesome? It just groomed it like a ski slope. So the, let's give you a little taste. We're gonna put this guy to the side. This is rough and bumpy and nasty and rocky. The transition between grass pasture and this bumpy mess. I've already ran over it one time, but the results of running over it three four times. The transition is better. It's smooth as silk. You guys are going to see a whole lot more of this piece of equipment at work. Just look out there. Can you imagine spending one hour 
on an acre of land and it looking that good and the soil is basically subsoiled with those tines they've dug in about that deep so i've got a great seed bed this is going to be awesome i cannot wait to get the seed drill in here and drill this down we're going to fix up the rest of this in a future vlog and we got about five acres directly behind you so let's say thank you so much to matt and abi attachments for reaching out to me and reaching out to the channel and, and doing this for me i mean i just can't say I just can't say enough, man. It's just super awesome. It's been a great day. Guys, be sure you go over to ABI's channel, check out their video. They'll probably have three, four, five yeah. videos up here. So we were all shooting video from sun up this morning till sun is going down. <laughs> we're actually getting ready to go down on the creek and sit and just talk and, and shoot a video for their channel. It's just gonna be a good time, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this. We'll keep you posted. We're gonna put these machines to work. The manure spreader, uh, the TR3, we're gonna kick some butt with them. We'll let you know what we think when he's not around. I promise it's gonna be a good time, guys. We'll see you next time on the Stony Ridge Farm. Look at that. Look at that. And look at that. Awesome. See you next time, guys. Wait a minute. Woo! Woo! <laughs> we'll come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife. Check out some of this equipment. Come along. Okay. Here's my plan. Oh Lord. Check, check, check. Oh, maybe. Lord. He didn't work. He just showed up. Just all the sudden stuff. <laughs> Outer space gold. It'd be awesome if my finger wasn't bleeding. Who's the giant in the video? <laughs> well, they've been feeding that guy. <laughs> I grew up on deer meat and squirrel, man. He's a normal sized dude, just so you guys know. <laughs> totally normal. <laughs> I love you. <laughs>